have struggling learning needs. How has this shift particularly affected them? Because so many of them are right brain thinkers, they have creative learning styles, and just their natural gifts tend to fall into this category. Um, and then special ed just works on what you don't do well in all of the things that we've replaced the arts with. Yes. And um, so can you talk to us a little bit about, you know, that, just that struggle and how we've actually ac accentuated that, I guess. Well, yes, uh, there's no question that the culture has done that. Um, and I'm no specialist the way you are and many of those, you know, who are watching your programming and working with you and, and the colleagues that you have that some of whom I know, um, I'm not a specialist in all this. What I do know is that, let's just start with birth. The thing about the arts, and here we mean singing, dancing, the mm. joy of color and beauty, whether we end up being painters or not, we're artists in that we take in the beauty of the arts. We right. take in the feel of the velvet or the silk. We mm. look at a painting and see how a master has painted the velvet and the silk mm. to the point where you almost are sure you can hear it rustle, right? Yeah. All of these things, you know, that that is born in us. A little child, if you think about it, if a child is healthy, healthy enough, Mm -hmm. That child will sing before that child speaks. Now, that's not insignificant. Thank you. Mm. That child will dance well before it walks. You know, you see these little ones. Mm -hmm. they, they can't even crawl hardly yet. But boy, you put on a Susan March and they are dancing. Uh -huh. They are dancing and they are smiling. You know? Right. And so you're singing at a fairly sophisticated level. If you think about pitch and volume and tone and all right. the things that you, uh, you really learn to do with the voice. You learn to do it with singing before you ever mm -hmm. say a word. Right. Yeah. We learn to do the motions before we can ever take a step. And every little child, if that child has vision or touch, is drawn to that, which is beautiful. Mm, That's just mm -hmm. there. We didn't have to make that happen. Right. What happens is that we take it away from them. The culture, mm. the system, the pace, the value, you know, the, what I would call a false values that have sort of drained and rained in on our mm, parade, mm -hmm. so to speak. So it's all in a child. And it, hmm. you could argue even more so in children who have struggles, who have special needs. They are probably even more filled up by that grace hmm. of creativity than many another child. And and so yeah. it's there already. The real question is now, what do you do with it? How do you bring it out? Hmm. And, mm -hmm. and how much can it feed not only the intellect, the soul, but the intellect, the motor motion, you know, and, so right. shall I keep going or tell me? Yeah, <laughs> no, this, I, I love that because, you know, there, um, there is that, that connection to, to what we call now therapies. You know, I'm hearing this come out of you, you know, it's just, um, but we've, we've so compartmentalized it and professionalized mm -hmm. what these natural things and parents always ask us, well, why are these instances higher now that we're seeing that kids need speech therapy and vision therapy? Right. And and it can really funnel back to what you were talking about is we have neglected exciting those senses mm -hmm. in them. Well.